Hey Cinemals Fire, I'm coming to you today from the Magnolia Hotel in Dallas, Texas. Uh, first, to answer Greg's question about thrift stores, I really like thrift stores. Thrift stores are responsible for a significant portion of my library. But coming back to today, um, I'm pretty much going to assume at this point that you guys are fairly familiar with The Fault in Our Stars uh, being made into a movie and all that. If you haven't been following the news of the movie that closely, so they announced a four-stop tour where John Green and uh, the three members of the main cast went around doing a Q&A session showing a couple clips from the movie. Um, and one of those stops was in Dallas, Texas, so I'm hopefully you're connecting the dots on this. So on Thursday, Maya and I have train bound for Texas. We spent the night in a tiny but fairly comfortable sleeper car, and then we upgraded to slightly larger accommodations in Dallas. And then Friday afternoon, we made our way to the end of a line that stretched down and around several city blocks and contained roughly 400 OK OK Tiffios t-shirts. So after a few hours of standing in the direct sunlight and Texas heat, the line finally started moving, they were letting people in, and then with a probably 600 people still in front of us, this tweet was published. With a huge line still outside, the Tiffio's account announced that they had already reached capacity. So we spent a good 10 minutes in line, not sure if we should be leaving or going or what was going on. And then someone came around with wristbands and it turned out that we were getting in. I don't know if you guys realize this, but this John Green guy is actually pretty popular. I have stood directly in front of enormous speakers at punk rock shows, and I'm pretty sure that I lost more hearing in the middle of this crowd last night than any of those shows. So the event was a lot of fun. I'm really glad that we were able to come down. For me, it was just kind of convenient. I was heading to Houston next week for a work conference. And so all I really had to do was just shift my plans up a little bit and then I was able to come down. And I'm glad that Maya and I were able to make it. Um, but it was kind of weird, like the audience was primarily teenage girls. So on the, on the train ride down, we met this couple who to them, we seemed like impossibly young. Um, they were telling us stories about like how they met, and we weren't even born when that happened. So to them, it just seemed really strange that we were on this train with them as adults and not as like six-year-olds. And then sending in line for the Tiffio's event, the crowd there just seemed to us to be impossibly young. There were some people with their parents, there was a lot of conversations about high school, and it was like, who are you kids? Shouldn't you be in school? But it did get me thinking about the reasons why everyone was in that line. Um, for me, I find value in going to see a person I admire talk at length about something he's extremely excited about and this thing that he created. For some of the people there, the biggest value was in being able to be at the red carpet area when the stars came up and being able to say, I was right there with them. And for some of the parents there, the value was just being able to be somewhere with their kids. And even if they didn't get it, they still got to take part in it. It kind of reminded me of something I read a while back in an OK Go interview when they were still a smaller band, where like a third of their fan base heard the song in a Madden game, and a third of them heard the song from this like teeny bopper movie, and a third of them heard the song from this video that was making the rounds in like nerd circles. So you had like people would come to the concert, and it would be a section of fourteen year old girls, and the section of football jocks, and the section of like businessmen with polo shirts, and they would all look at each other like these are the other OK Go fans. So in the end, even if everyone there wasn't there for the same reason, I'm pretty sure that everyone had a good time. It was a pretty great. Uh, Q&A session with the cast. Um, we got to see some exclusive clips. And we may not be a part of the high school demographic that largely was the majority of the population of the crowd, but we got to go out for margaritas afterwards, and they didn't, so I think we win. So, from the Magnolia Hotel in Dallas, Texas, see you later. Do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched?